A candlelight vigil was held along Virginia Avenue in South Williamson Monday night for the late 33-year-old coal miner, Gary Chapman, the young man who perished in a mining accident this past weekend. The vigil was organized by Chapman's close friend, Bobby Taylor. This dog can work high fast for you know, the greatest thing that God gave us was love. And how can we show the family God's love through us? That's how we do it. We show his love through us. So that's why we're all here tonight is to show the family the love that we have for them and to let them know that we're standing behind them. <laughs> Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The great number of people attending the vigil were somber but also taking the time to celebrate Chapman's life. His father, Gary Chapman, struggled to maintain his emotions but spoke from the heart about his son. I just want to say, son, I'm going to miss you. You, just, you don't know how much that miss you. You always will be loved and never forgotten. Fly high. Fly high, son. U.S. Mine Safety Manager Freddie Lewis was on hand for the community ceremony and spent time on the importance of mine safety for the sake of the family. You know, tonight our hearts go out to this family. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Chapman uh, was in a, a very horrible accident uh, at his mine. And I would ask all miners tonight, when, you know, when you're putting your hard hat on and your boots to go in and provide for your family, just remember, you know, work safe for your wife, work safe for your mother, your father, work safe for those children back at home uh, because they're all dependent on you to get back at the end of your shift. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.